the kinetic molecular theory of gases describes uh, properties of gases and um, this theory gives us the ideal gas law. It also gives us a couple of different equations. So we can get the energy of a gas, which is uh, 3 half RT. And because of the units of R, it's uh, down R here, the version of R that we want to use is the 8.3145, which is joules per mole Kelvin. So we're going to get energy out of this equation. And the Kelvin will cancel off, so this one's going to give us joules per mole. If we want to look at the energy of a single molecule, and this is the average energy, there's always going to be a spread. So our energy is always going to do a spread. So this is just giving us the average of it. So there's always going to be some molecules with higher energy and some molecules with lower energy. If you want the energy of, um, of a molecule, average energy of the molecule, we're going to take this and divide it by Avogadro's number. Another equation that the kinetic molecular theory gives us is the velocity of gas. And of course, this is the average velocity. Is, we'll always have that spread there also. But um, the energy gas is going to encompass all the different gases that are present in the mixture. But here we have molecular weight. So this is going to be the average velocity of the individual gases. So different gases will have different velocities. We see this in diffusion and effusion. So we see that if we have a large number down here, it's going to make our velocity smaller. So big molecules go smaller. Uh, go slower. If we have a small molecular weight down here, we're going to have a larger velocity, so small molecules go faster. Small molecules go fast, big molecules go slow. So let's do a problem. We want to calculate the average kinetic energy of oxygen at 466. And um, in the Average energy is nothing for molecular weight. So the fact that we have oxygen does not affect the results here. So a kinetic energy is directly proportional to uh, temperature only. So it's three halves RT. We'll put in our temperature and we end up with D812 joules per mole. And if we want to look at it on a per molecule basis, uh, we divide by Avogadro's number and we end up with. 9.65 times 10 to the minus 21 joules per molecule. So on a molecule basis, we always end up with a very small value. 